Hi guys, Neil from Nismo Tech back again with another unboxing and this time it's something uh, quite exciting. Um, we recently received this lovely Cirrus C headset from Cooler Master. Um, brand new to the market, uh, really uh, new released item and uh, they very kindly sent us one to, uh, to do an unboxing and review. So we'll get right into it, have a look at the box and uh, and see what it's about. It's basically a um, PC and uh, console compatible unit and um, as you can see from the front we've got all the Cooler Master and CM Storm branding up here. Uh, nice clear box to see the, the product through there and um, Cirrus C is the new name of the product. Um, as you can see a sticker up here compatible with PS4 which is obviously quite key from a next gen point of view and uh, down at the bottom here we've got professional 2.2 channel gaming headset for PC, Xbox and PlayStation. So we'll move around the box and on the side here uh, more branding at the top. Uh, this is a universal gaming headset compatible with PS3 and 4, Xbox 360 and Mac Windows systems and uh, I'm just showing the compatible units there down the side. So we shall carry on and move around to the back and here we have a nice image of the item with the inline control and uh, up here we've got groundbreaking 2.2 channel with 44 and 40 mil drivers provide high quality high fidelity sound with a great sound stage uh, over ear and interchangeable breathable mesh or artificial leather ear cups uh, ensures both high comfort and great noise cancelling interesting to know that they're interchangeable uh, Built-in hi-fi amplifier dramatically boosts signal power delivering deep and rich bass. Uh, Inline remote allows volume adjustment, microphone mute, chat volume in console and PC console mode switching. Interesting. Different mode switch. Okay. Uh, ultra flexible headband for perfect fit and white LED illuminated ear cups which we've seen an awful lot of on headsets now with the uh, LED illumination uh, and also on the microphone as well. So uh, that'll be interesting to see when we do the review later, see how that looks. Um, more information on features down here in different languages. So we'll skip them for the time being and go around to this side here, which has some of the specifications. So for the headphones themselves, the drivers are 44mm for the main unit and 40mm for the woofer unit. Uh, frequency response is 20 to, 2, uh, sorry, 20 to 20,000 hertz. Impedance is 50 ohms for the main unit and 32 ohms for the woofer unit. Uh, sensitivity is uh, 11, uh, sorry, 118 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels for the 44 mil and uh, 116 decibels plus or minus 3 decibels for the 40 mil drivers. Uh, input power is 100 mil, uh, megawatts or more. Uh, connector is a 3.5 mil jack uh, or USB and or USB. Uh, cable length is 3 meters. For the microphone, uh, frequency response is 100 to 10,000 hertz. Uh, signal to noise ratio is 50 decibels or more. Sensitivity is minus 34 decibels uh, plus or minus 3 decibels. And pickup pattern is omnidirectional. Um, some more information about Cooler Master and their uh, regional offices down here, just for your information. So that's the box, and let's get it open. So. I shall undo the tab at the back, open the many flaps at the top and slide this box out like that and get the bits and pieces out, quickly just flip this back shut again, I shall stand that box off over there like that. So, first thing to show is a little pack in here, let's just slide that open and we have in here a nice Cirrus C user guide which I guess is going to have some setup, some key features and maybe a setup guide of some kind, some specifications and features in there, so that's that. Uh, here's the setup guide. So shows you the setup for PC, Xbox 360, uh, Xbox 360 with normal TV, not an HD TV, 
um, PS3 and PS4. So that'll be coming useful. Let's move that out of the way and get to the unit itself. So here we have a really nice looking unit. So we're going to take that out. Let's take some tags off the back here. Just take those off. Very well packaged. You would normally get with Cooler Master stuff. Just take this in line out of here, which is very snugly tucked in. There we go. Nicely braided cable. First impression as we get trying to get the thing out. So I'll just slide all the wires out, put that to one side. And slide all the wires out of there, like that. And nearly done. Done. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Uh, let's have a look at the wires first. So I'm going to presume that looks very much to me like a chat cable of some sort. So for console, we've got the console connectors there. And what else have we got here? And then that's about it for that for the actual cables. So the headset itself, let's have a look at what we've got here. Let's push them in there for now. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's start at the cable end. We don't want to talk at the ear cuts, but let's start at the other end because the first thing that struck me when I took this out of the box just then was that we have a lovely braided cable. Now obviously braided cable is, tends to be more of a uh, a PC phenomenon than actual gaming pro uh, sort of console product, but obviously this headset is, is suitable for both, so it's really nice to see a very solid braided cable there. Uh, USB connection there, jack connection there. So all the connectors as we like to see. This is the inline remote, I'll turn that around. I'm going to guess, looking at that inlay there, the CM Storm, uh, that that will probably light up. So we've got mic on and off there. So there's your mute, uh, chat volume there, console and PC switch there, and uh, in-game volume there. So a really nice looking, it's even got a clip on the back, so you can clip that to something. That's nice to see. Nice little touch. So yeah, so so far so good. I like the braided cable. Um, really nice touch. And onto the to the unit itself. Um, so there's the flip down mic. So let's start with the earphones, as we like to have a look at normally. Um, there's lots of. Uh, this is the mesh padding on here. Full mesh padding, which feels really nice and soft. Very thick. So I'm going to be a little bit presumptuous and say I guess this is going to be quite a comfortable uh, headset to wear. Um, very glossy finish um, on the unit itself around the edges, and then a sort of matte finish here on the on the outside of the headset itself. Uh, there's the LED light up as we were discussing earlier. So as I say, we'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail actually in the uh, review. And again, same there. We've got the the left and the right indicators just slightly above the earphones there. Um, while we're down here, let's have a look at the mic. The mic's a swing up mic. So you've got the Cirrus branding there and the LED here on the end of the mic. And so that's quite a neat, it's, it's a little bit flexible. It's more flexible towards the end than it is further down. So we'll see how that goes on the review. Uh, as you all know, I'm a little bit of a stickler for mic position. So let's see how that goes and uh, we'll, we'll be able to tell what the, the mic quality is like and, and whether it's, uh, it gets in the way while gaming or whether it's a nice position. So we'll, we'll judge that on review. Uh, moving on to the headband. We've got really nice thick padding on there. On the top, really nice inlaid into the sort of rubberized section here. Uh, CM Storm branding there which is nice to see and then very glossy on the outside edges so the finish is really really good um, so that will be interesting to see 
how that sits on the head. Uh, the adjustment, nice and notchy, I don't know if you can hear that. So that's really nice to see, so let's hope that that sits nicely on the head. Um, as I say, this is a brand new, uh, a brand new unit, unit to the uh, CM Storm headset line. Um, we're going to give it a test over the next couple of weeks, see how it goes. Um, so we'll test it on both PC and uh, and probably Xbox, and see uh, see how that goes. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it compares with other headsets we've we've done. It's uh, I would say probably aimed at slightly higher profile. And then some of the ones we've done that are maybe a little bit more cost uh, cost effective ones. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares on quality, um, on sound levels. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Brand new to the market, CM Storm Cirrus C um, PC and console gaming headset. Once again, thank you to Cooler Master for sending this to us. We really appreciate it. And. Uh, We'll get the review done, as I say, over the next couple of weeks or so. Get some quite a lot of gaming in with it and uh, and see how we go. So there you go. That's the unboxing of the Cooler Master Cirrus C console and PC gaming headset. Um, if you guys want more information, see the description below. And uh, keep an eye out for the review. So for the time being, this is Neil from Nismo Tech. Thank you, Cooler Master. And uh, we'll see you again soon. We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.